How's it going guys? My name is TJP and welcome back to another NBA 2K24 My NBA Rebuilding Challenge. Doing another fantasy draft here, but this time it is in the Jordan era. So, same rules as applied for the other ones. We're doing four seasons. We're trying to win an NBA Finals in four seasons. Injuries are on, off. Uh, all the trade rules are pretty much off for the most part. Rule changes are on, but only the historic ones. That's the only thing that we care about. So yeah, before we go into the gameplay, leave a like and subscribe and join the content. Comment below some videos. Go to social play the second channel, main channel down in the description. If you like the content, me DJB. With that being said, let's go into the gameplay. And uh, the way that this is going to work, so we're going to pick a random team. I'm going to close my eyes, and whatever team it lands on, that's the team we're going to be using. Again, it's a fantasy draft, so it doesn't really matter too much. What team it is? We're going to stop in three, two, one. Then we're going to go five, four, three, two, one. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three. And we'll open our eyes. We're going to be using the Minnesota Timberwolves today again. It's fantasy draft, so it doesn't really matter too much, or at least it should be. And we're going to have the third overall pick here in the Jordan era. So Michael Jordan and Clyde Drexler go. So there's going to be a lot of players here. We can go with the Carl Malone, uh, David Robinson, Patrick Ewing's out there. A lot of guys. A lot of guys we can go for. I'm trying to think who'd be really good. Um, hmm. Carl Malone, David Robinson. I think I want to go with David Robinson just because he's 26 years old. Um, and he's a 94 overall. So I think we go with David Robinson for our center. I like that pick right there. Took us a while to get to our next pick, but I think I'm going to go with uh, Mark Jackson here with our next pick. Get a point guard. And then I think I'm going to grab a small forward here in uh, Jerome Kersey. So welcome to the team, Jerome Kersey. All right, so I need a shooting guard. I think I'm going to go with Craig Elo. Uh, I, yeah, I think he's a pretty solid shooter, so we're going to go with him. Regular, welcome to our squad. So we do need a power forward. I think I'm gonna grab uh, Fred Roberts here to be our power forward. Uh, we could go with like an Ed uh, Pickney, um, but I think Fred Roberts makes a little bit more sense. We're gonna go with him. I'm gonna get a backup point guard. We're gonna go with Steve Kerr. Steve Kerr to be our backup point guard. Love it. So for our backup center, I'm gonna grab uh, Randy Brewer to be our backup center. Uh, Something that could defend pretty well in the paint. So for our backup shooting guard, with Dennis Hobson. Uh, we're gonna take him two year contract. I mean, backup shooting guard, nothing too crazy there. So for my backup power forward, I'm gonna go with LaSalle Thompson. Uh, yeah, I feel like he's a pretty solid backup. All right, final guy I'm gonna take here of the CPU draft. We're gonna go with Jeff Turner, just another power forward for us. So um, yeah, all the other players are kind of been just like auto-generated players. So we'll see how this team's looking like. I'll show you guys the team, we'll go on from there. All right, so we show you guys the roster that we ended up with. So we have Mark Jackson, Steve Kerr, Cecil Ellison, then we've got Elo, Hobson, Butler, Kersey, Reed, and Butler. Uh, then we've got Roberts, Thompson, Turner, and then Robinson and Brewer. We're going to sign another center in free agency again. I usually don't like to make trades until we are done in terms of like of the season. So we're going we're gonna to make trades. We'll wait till like the middle of the season. We're trying to pick up Wellington maybe. We'll sign him on a minimum contract. Um, so that'll be our other center here so we're gonna mark jackson craig elo jerome kersey fred roberts and david robinson as our starting five we've got uh, steve kerr randy brewer lasalle thompson dennis hobson well, i mean it's not looking too bad we'll see how this team does um i feel like we should be pretty good in the system proficiency we're at three and a half stars there with the seven second offense and i guess we'll just uh keep it that way we'll see how this team does and then once we get to that uh Trade deadline, we'll look to make some moves then, if need be. So we are at the deadline, 23-19, third in the Western Conference right now, which is pretty cool. Let's take a look here at the team. Also, I just saw a team that, did they be scored? Oh, I thought it was 37 points. I was like, what? Or 39 points. Anyways, let's look at the stats. I feel like uh, David Ross would be leading the team in scoring, if I had to guess. And he is. Only 16, though, which is kind of weird. 16 a game. Uh, we've got five guys in double figures, so that's pretty cool to see. Uh, in terms of rebounding, uh, 12.6 rebounds from uh, Robinson. We got uh, Brewer up there as well, Kersey, Thompson. In terms of assists, Mark Jackson's averaging 10.3 assists on this team, which is not too bad to see. Three guys lease this deal game, block shots 2.9 from Robinson and 1.7 from Brewer. Yeah, and then you got your most efficient scorer being Kersey with 49.4%. Uh, three point percentage not really going to be too important in this era, but uh, there it is. In case you guys curious, Kerr. 45.8%. <laughs> Greg Elo shooting 45.2%. The best free throw shooter has been Steve Kerr, 82%. So I do think we can make, we can make a couple trades. 
I definitely want the number one overall pick because we would love to get Shaquille O'Neal, but if we can't get him, we can't get him. But uh, let's see what's out there in the market and see if we try to acquire some more talent for the team. I'm going to see if the Warriors get a second round pick for Wellington. I'm going to grab another second round pick from the Heat for uh, Arthur Butler. Cecil Ellison to the Rockets for a second round pick. East Butler to the Knicks for a second round pick. Stacking up on a lot of second rounders right now. And I'm going to do one more trade to stack up on another second rounder. And then we're just going to sign somebody. So let's see if, uh, I don't know, which Jeff Turner got me. Can you give me a first? Actually, if we get a first rounder, that'd be kind of cool. Um, I mean, we can get Anthony Bonner. I don't want to give him a second rounder, though. If we get a first round pick. I can if I get one second rounder. We get Joe McCoy back for Turner. We get a Clippers top to protect. I'm going to do that trade there. So we have an extra first rounder. So that's going to be it for me if we look at the roster. Uh, let's see if I can maybe just fill out the rest of the team and then we'll head on to the end of the season where we should be You know in playoff contention, but uh, let's just see what uh, free agents I could add to the team right now again We don't have a lot of money, so it's uh, gonna be a little bit hard All right, so this is gonna be the team the rest of the way I signed uh, Bo Murphy, we've got Elliot, Corey Reed, McCoy, Butler, Cheeks, I think some of those guys we just, I said were just signed there. So yeah, I'll simulate the rest of the season, and I'll see you guys at the end of the year. All right, so Michael Jordan, MVP on the Pistons, ironically. Larry Johnson, rookie of the year, six man of the year to Lionel Simmons. That's where there goes to David Robinson, our very own. 15.3 points, 11.5 rebounds, 1.9 assists, 1.5 steals, 2.6 blocks. On a decent efficiency, nothing too crazy there. Purvis Allison was the... Uh, most approved coach there, Emmanuel Barnett, Pistons, Jack Gilbert, Eric of the year, since obviously Michael Jordan's there. Uh, do we have any Timberwolves? We do not, but of course we're going to have all defense first team. David Robinson says he won the defense player of the year, and that is pretty much all we're going to have here. But we did make the playoffs. We were a six seed, uh, 43-39. and 39. Nothing too crazy, but uh, not too bad of a year. Again, good enough to make the playoffs at least, which is cool. So if we look at the stats here, we got four guys in double figures. A lot of guys average at least nine, which is cool to see in terms of rebounding. You got 11.5 from Robinson to lead the team in terms of assist. 10.4 from Mark Jackson. Three guys lead to steal a game. Two guys lead to block shot. Robinson 2.6, 1.6 from Brewer, most efficient scorer. Was Kersey 49.1% in terms of you know regular PT. Then you get your three-point percentage and your free throws. Steve Curry 4.3%. So we're taking on the Jazz, and we'll take a look at ahead and see what their team's looking like. So if we uh, see their team, Jazz are looking like this. Terry Porter, they got Marcio Lunas, Asurnas, we'll just say that. Chris Mullins on their team, that's their best player. All right, they got a decent team. Game one, we do beat them by two points. Can we win game two? They win game two by two points. Every game is... Close. Game three would be nice to win. And we actually do. Let's go. We're up by we won by eleven and we're up two one. Can we go up three one and win the series? We can. We win in four because it's the best of five. Now you get to the other Rockets. Kenny the Jet Smith. Is there Clyde Drexler? Uh that's funny that they got both of these guys. Simmons, Mills, Jones. It's a good team. Obviously Clyde Drexler definitely the lone superstar, but ask Kenny the Jet Smith that and uh, he'll tell you otherwise. So, let's see what happens. Uh, we're going to sim the first game, and it's going to be a win for us by 15 points. Can we win game two? We cannot. We lose by one point. 2K loves doing that. Game three, we win again by six. Can we win game four? We win game four. Let's win in five. And we're in the Western Conference Finals in our first season to take on the fifth seeded Blazers. Who, uh, well, Clippers blew with whatever lead. I don't know. So yeah, Strickland, Ogman, Dominique Wilkins is their leading guy. They got Duckworth, Detlef Shrem coming off the bench is pretty cool too. For fifth seed. So let's see how we do. Game one against the Trailblazers is going to be in our favor by four points. Can we win game two? We cannot. We lose by 14. So that's a little unfortunate. Game three. And we go down 2-1. We lose by six. All right. Try to force game. Well, try to win game four here. Be huge. And we do win by five. And it's now best of three games, five, and we go up 3-2, win by two points. Trying to avoid having to go to a game seven, and we're in the finals in our first season, so that's pretty cool. Taking on the seven-seeded Pacers, who are making their way here with Kevin Johnson, Gerald Wilkins, Xavier McDaniel, Sean Kemp. I mean, all right, I'll see what happens against the uh, Pacers. 
Game one goes to them by 13 points. All right. So we're down 1 0. Can we go down 2 0? We don't go down 2 0. Let's go win by 2. Game three, they win. All right. All right. All right. Game four, can we even up the series? No, we cannot. We're down 3 1. Shout out to 2K. All right. We're going to sim with Simcast here. Trying to force a game five or game six here. Uh. We're down, and it looks like we're going to lose this game. Yep, we're getting blown out, too, by the way. Not even close. 25-point loss. Yikes. So the Pacers win the championship. Sean Kemp, finals MVP. But uh, we got a lot to build upon getting to the finals in our first season. Let's see if we can uh, improve the team for next year. So we're picking at number 17, which is cool. Took six first-round picks, but we have picked number one, and we know who we're taking. Shh, from the Lakers... Took their pick, and we're taking Shaquille O'Neal. Yep, we gotta take Shaq. Why wouldn't we take him? I mean, this makes the most sense. So Shaquille O'Neal, welcome to the squad. And, uh, I mean, David Robinson could just play power forward. Some of them could play power forward, I don't know. But uh, his mentor, his mentor. Pretty cool to see, so Shaq's gonna be on our team. Got a couple second round as well, we're not gonna sign him. And uh, yeah, team, player options, nothing, qualifiers. Uh, Dell Elliott, Bo Murphy, we can qualify them, I guess. And uh, in free agency, I mean, Larry Bird would be a good pickup for us, but I think we are over the cap. So I don't think I can afford Larry Bird, unfortunately. But uh, let's see who we can get. That would be cool. Maybe Scott Skiles. I wouldn't mind Scott, but I'm uh, over the money. No, I don't have a lot of money. So let's just, uh, yeah, let's just try to add a couple guys to the team. We'll see uh, who we pick. So player progression, we've got Robinson, Shaq, Mark Jackson, Jerome Gersey, Greg Elo, Fred Roberts, Steve Kerr, Greg Grant, uh, Randy Brewer, Dennis Hobson, South Thompson, Andy Bowie's on the team now, Jeff Turner's here, Reed Brown to round out the team. I feel like we were pretty good last season. We should be able to be good this year again, and uh, we'll see what ends up happening. All right, let's take a look at the roster. So we have Mark Jackson, Steve Kerr, and Greg Grant with Elo Hobson, Bowie, We've got Kersey, Reed, and Brown, Roberts, Thompson, Turner, and then Robinson, Shaq, and Randy Brewer. It's a good team. Definitely a good team. Sense of proficiency. Uh, four stars, seven seconds. Uh, Shaq is coming off the bench right now, which I think is fine. Um, although we probably want Shaq starting, if I was being honest with you, but it's uh, we, we could play the double bigs, especially in this era. It's definitely a di you know it's a different brand of basketball, but listen. If that's what coach wants to do. We'll have Shaq start off the bench, off the bench for now. I'm, it's fine with me. I think we should be pretty good. Let's see how this team does. I'll see you guys at the trade end line. All right, so we're sitting at 25 and 17, second in the West, only to the Clippers, who are 32 and 12. I don't know why that Clippers team is so good. It doesn't really make any sense to me, but you know, here we are. The Clippers are really good. Though, let's take a look at the stats on the season. Look at the player stats. Who's doing well? Who's not? Uh, Shaq is averaging 22.9 points off the bench. <laughs> Uh, Dave Robinson, 64-4. We got five guys in double figures. So it's looking pretty cool there. Most rebounds on the team is Robinson. We got Shaq as well down there. Kersey, in terms of assist, 10.9 from Mark Jackson. He's doing his thing out there, facilitating. Uh, then we got uh, Grant Elo as well. We got four guys used to steal the game, headlined by Robinson, and 2.3 block shots from Robinson, two from O'Neal. So three guys in, uh, at least with one, but two guys with at least two. Our most efficient field goal getter is uh, O'Neal in terms of regular play time. Three-point shooting, not too relevant. But uh, Kerr shooting 50% of limited attempts and 84.2% from the line lead the team. So obviously the team's doing well. Uh, can we make some trades to improve the team? We absolutely can. And I think I'm going to see what we could do in terms of some of these second rounders. I'm going to do this deal with the Bucks. Give up two second rounders. We get a first and a second round in return, as well as giving up Tony Brown. Uh, so thank you, Bucks. I'm going to sign somebody in free agency uh, for a small proposition. I mean, Sean Higgins would be cool, but and uh, we can get him. So that'll boost her up the lineup a little bit. I don't know if he's going to get PT, but uh, he is not. So there it is. Uh, Shaq is starting to power forward now, which is cool. And uh, let's see what happens the rest of the way. I'll see you guys. Ended up 48 and 34. Third seed in the West. Jordan gets MVP again. Shaquille O'Neal, rookie of the year. 22 and a half points, 9 point rebounds. He had a good season. Nearly a steal and over two, almost two blocks a game. So good stuff there from Shaq. Christian Leitner is going to be your sixth man of the year. Most of the year, Purvis Ellison. 
Uh, Terry Mills, most approved coach there, Norm Cousins, and executive to our executive Cody Augustine. So yeah, you can see the All NBA first team, All NBA second team, and All NBA third team. No Timberwolves, but we got uh, anyone on the defensive team? No, but rookie team, of course, Shaquille O'Neal is going to be there. So kind of surprising. And we're the three seed this season, which is cool. Forty and thirty-four, uh, which is nice. NBA dot NBA dot com. Hmm. Look at that. That's crazy. Uh, let's see the player stats for the rest of the team. So we've got uh, five guys in double figures. Rebounding going to Robinson. We got O'Neal up there. Kersey in terms of assists, 11.2 for Mark Jackson lead team. So you love that. You had four guys who used to steal a game. Three guys leads the block shot. Most efficient score was Shaq, 58%. Three-point shooting, again, really not that relevant in this era just yet. And then our best free throw shooter, Steve Kerr, 86.3% to lead the way. Now, if we look at the Kings, who are taking on Byron Scott, Billy Owens, Willie Burton, Kevin Willis, Dikembe Mutombo, Scott Skiles. Interesting key. They got a good deal. It's a decent bench, but, you know, game one, they do win by seven. So their bench is uh, outworking us. Game two. We win by five points. I like to win game three here if we can, 2K. And we can. And I'd like to win game four and advance to the second round. Which we will. And we're taking on the Spurs. Hershey Hawkins, Dave McMillan, Rick Fox, AC Green, Purvis Allison, Vince Vidier, Ricky Pierce, Eddie Johnson. They got a good team. They got a good team. Very good team. Um, so let's see what happens. Game one against the Spurs. We'll go to the Spurs by three points. Like to win game two if we can, even up the series. We cannot. We got blown out there. So we're down 2 0 against the Spurs. And we do win game three by 10. I'd like to win game four, which we don't. So it's a 3 1 series. And um, we got to win four, three straight. I don't know if we can do it, but we're going to try. Uh, we need to get off a good first quarter. Decent first, horrible second. And a very good fourth, so win by 10. All right, well, not a very good fourth, but we do get the W. Force game six, Shaq with 25 and 10. Same thing with David Robinson leading the way. So it's 3-2 series. Can we get 3-3 potentially? We're going to find out. We're going to assume a Simcast here. Looks like Portland is in the Western Conference Finals already. First quarter goes to us. Second quarter goes to them. Third quarter tied up. It's tight, and we're going to end up losing this basketball game by six points kind of an embarrassment but it is what it is because shout out to two k's sim logic uh let's see the player stats here in the playoffs okay we're you know i mean again i i didn't know if we were gonna make the finals last season we did it would have been nice to win it in our first season but what are you gonna do i mean shack will improve so i'm not too worried about that uh i'm just curious to see how we're gonna do with this uh team the rest of the way but let's see who's winning the finals it's gonna be the pistons and uh, Michael Jordan, Finals MVP. I mean, this is your era, buddy. So we don't have any picks. I mean, we have some second rounders. I'm gonna see if I can maybe try to propose some of these second rounders to get a first rounder. That'd be kind of cool. All right, I traded six uh, second rounders to the Sixers for pick 17. All right, I just traded for Larry Bird. Three first round picks and uh, Steve Kerr and Grant. And we got ourselves Larry Bird. Now, I was not expecting that to go through. But uh, Larry Bird waived his uh, no trade clause. So we have an older Larry Bird. Uh, but a Larry Bird, nevertheless, uh, which is still pretty good. You know, be our starting power. For well, I don't want him to be our starting power forward, actually. I want him to be our starting small forward. So I'm going to change his position to be a small forward. He does go up to an 89. So we're going to do that. And we're going to edit the secondary position as well. Um, I don't know what I'm doing right now. Okay, so we're going to do this and make him a power forward. Power forward. All right, so there we go. Perfect. Um, let's see if we can get some of our guys back. Uh, we don't have that second round pick. I don't have any picks now. So let's go to the team player options. Nothing. And yeah, let's try to see if we can sign some of our guys back. Wildfires, Higgins. We can offer him and Bowie, might as well. 
And yeah, let's try to get back some of our guys. All right, so going to next season, we got Robinson, O'Neal, got Larry Bird, Mark Jackson, Jerome Kersey, we got Craig Elo, Fred Roberts, uh, Randy Brewer, Dennis Hobson, we got Anthony Bowie back at the team, Sal Thompson, Zillier, Marco Lowry, we picked him up, Corey Reed, Rodney Monroe's here, Tony Bennett. Not too bad, not too bad. Just going on our third season, let's see how this team does. Hopefully we can get to the finals, win a championship in uh, one of these next two seasons. All right, looking at the roster, it's uh, pretty good on paper. We've got Mark Jackson, Monroe and Bennett, point guards, good shooting guards, Elo, Hobson, Bowie. Small forwards, Bird, Kersey, and Reed. Power forwards, Roberts, Thompson, and Alari. And then we got Robinson, O'Neal, and Brewer. It's a pretty good team. Now we look at the game plan. We got Mark, yeah, we got uh, Mark Jackson, Greg Elo, Larry Bird, Shaq, and Robinson starting. We got Jerem, Kersey, going to the bench with Roberts, Brewer, and Bowie. Getting minutes as well. I loving the team right now. So if we look at the system proficiency, we are at four stars, seven seconds. That's where we're going to continue to run. We might as well, since that is our best. So yeah, let's see what happens with this team. We'll see you guys at the trade deadline if I need to make some moves. Otherwise, I think I'm just going to trade uh, Shaquille O'Neal and David Robinson for nothing. What could I get for Shaq? Shaq's value is a uh, five-star, but I'm getting garbage trades. You would think I'd get like a Michael Jordan, potentially? Eh, I'm kidding, by the way. I know I can't get Michael Jordan. All right, let's simulate. We're at the deadline, sitting at 31 and 11, first in the Western Conference. Only a half game up, though, uh, so it's kind of tightly packed here. Let's look at the season stats, player stats right here, and uh, we've got Shaq putting up 23.3 points, leading the team. We've got Larry Bird up there, 51 at 50 point point. Robinson, it's six guys in double figures right now. Rebound, we've got two guys at least averaging 10, O'Neal and Robinson, of course. Uh, but then we got your most assist, Mark Jackson, 12.6 assists, man. He's got a lot of guys to pass to, so that's cool to see. Uh, four guys needs to steal a game, block shots. We've got two guys with over two, and then another guy here, Brewer. Block shots, that's cool to see. Most efficient scores have been Shaq, over 60% from the field. Three-point shooting game, really not too much of an emphasis on it, but um, yeah, Larry Bird shooting 42.5%, taking one three a game. Not too bad. And free throw shooting, 93.2% from him. Always at 91.8% which is good, we need we need that. So I, I really don't think there's any trades that we need to do. Uh, I mean, we can look, but uh, we're, we're pretty much set. I mean, unless there is a, a, you know, a player that we can get here that would be an upgrade, but there isn't. I mean, well, Andre Turner, maybe. Is he an upgrade? Yes, he's an upgrade. Yeah, we can do this deal with the Pacers, I guess. Get Turner. Um, but that's, uh, that's pretty much all we need to do. So yeah, that's gonna be the team. I'll see you guys at the end of the season. All right, Michael Jordan, another MVP for him. Chris Webber, rookie of the year. Uh, I had a good season. Calbert Cheney, six of the year, defensive of the year, Hakeem Olajuwon. Oh, okay. First time I feel like I'm being seen Hakeem in this video. Shaquille O'Neal, most improved player somehow. Doesn't really quite make much sense because he didn't really improve that much, but hey, I'll take it. Good stuff there from Shaq. Donald Forrest, coach of the year, executive of the year, Cody Augustine. We were 59-23. Best team in the NBA, it looks like, so that's cool to see. Uh, uh, we have all NBA first team, Shaquille O'Neal, so that's cool. And uh, no other Timberwolves. Uh, all defense second team, David Robinson. 15.3 runs, 10 rebounds, 2.1 assists, 5.5 steals, and uh, 2.4 block shots a game. Pretty solid efficiency, too. And then, yeah, rookies don't have any of those. So, again, the number one seed, 59 and 23. Good season from us. Now, this would be the season where we got to try to put everything together. Again, uh, six guys in double figures. Uh, you got uh, two guys at least to 10 rebounds a game. 11.8 uh, assists there from Mark Jackson. The team six and a half from Larry Bird is pretty cool, too. Uh, and he's still doing his thing. Five guys lease a steal a game, which is impressive. Two guys lease a block shot, or three guys lease a block shot, two guys lease two block shots. Most of which score with Shaq in terms of regular minutes. And games played, there's a three point shooting. Again, it doesn't matter too much in this era. And then uh, free throw shooting, Larry Bird dominating in that category. So the eight seeded Rockets with Kevin Edwards, Clyde Drexler still there. Uh, Lionel Simmons is pretty good, but yeah, it's really Clyde, the Clyde Drexler show. But he's one of the best players in the NBA, so I don't know. We'll see what happens. Game one, we win by 15. Game two, we win again by a lot. And they get game three by three points. 
and we win in five or four rather shoot so now the spurs hawkins pierce brick fox ac green purpose else and this team beat us last season it's a good team on paper it's definitely a good team on paper for sure game one we do take the victory though by 23 game two we win again by 27 and i think we're gonna sweep them we don't sweep them but we win in five and we are taking on the 60 lakers Michael Williams, Joe Dumars, Derek McKee, Terry Mills, Chris Dudley. They got Garland off the bench uh, with Charles Oakley. Now, is, is this guy Winston Garland? Is that Darius Garland? Let me just look this up. Is that Darius Garland's dad? Did Darius Garland's dad play in the NBA? I, I, I Let's see. Darius Garland. Darius Garland. Winston Garland. Ah, yes. That is his father. That is his father. Winston Kennard Garland. Yep. I just had to make sure. So that's good to know that he's in the game. A lot of father-son, you know? Makes sense why he's in it. Alright, anyway. Game one against Lakers is a loss. Four-point loss. Okay. Don't like that start to the series. And but we do win game two by six. Okay, it's a one-one. Can we make it two on us? That'd be nice two K. And we can we win by five. Uh, game four, and it's tied up. It's tied up. Not going to make it easy for us, huh, 2K? We do win game five, and I'd like to win in six if possible. We do. We're in the finals. And the Hornets coming off a sweep of the Bucks. Let's see what their team's looking like. They got BJ Armstrong. Oh, yeah, Ron Harper, Dennis Scott. Horace Grant. They got Akeem. That's right. Akeem's on this team. Akeem's good, though. Mench isn't that crazy, but if you look at our team, uh, it's... It's, uh, it's... Pretty... Pretty good. Pretty good stuff. I mean, you know. Let's see how we do. Game 1 against the Hornets. We get the victory by 21 points. Game 2. We, we win again by 8. Can we win Game 3? No. Can we win game four? No. Okay, 2K. Game five. And we're going to blow a 2 0 lead. Shout out to NBA 2K, man. I love this game so much. All right, let's see if we can somehow force a game seven. First quarter was great. Second quarter was great. Third quarter, not great, but yep, we do force game seven. We force a game seven, ladies and gentlemen. So let's sim cast it here and see if we can win. We are the home team this time around. Great first quarter. Uh, can we have a great second quarter? Not a great second, but a good third. Pretty good third. It's uh, it, uh we're gonna win. We're gonna win. I think. Uh, we're gonna hop on in as well. And uh, yeah, it looks like we are going to get the W here. We'll hop in with a minute. Oh, we'll hop in 55 seconds. I'm, I, I can play it out. It's a 12-point game. I think the result is more than set in stone. I said I'd play the game, but honestly, no. We'll just let the CPU play it out. Now, you guys can see the uh, you can see the filters on. I'm going to turn that off, but I wanted to give you guys what it looks like. So the filter, if this is the 90s. I don't know if it's how much different it is from the 80s one. Mark Jackson, nice move. Beautiful there. We're going to turn it off, though. As you can see, it's much different. I mean, you still got kind of a little bit of a glimpse of it. So, give it to you guys. But, yeah, 14-point game. We are going to win our first championship of the video. Maybe try to go back to back if we can. That's a three-pointer right there. And that's going to be money. Money there. Right? That was nice. All right, 11-point game. I mean, 38 seconds, we're going to win this game. So, I'm not too worried about it. So let's see. Mark Jackson. I'm just going to dribble out the clock a little bit gives it to Shaq Shaq what's he gonna do bounce past the Kersey Kersey gonna take crossovers he's got that Gatorade symbol he gives it to Robinson who throws up a wild shot misses rebound Grant gives it to Nelson Nelson he is going to give it to McLeod gives it to Olajuwon Olajuwon crazy shot makes it N1 so we're gonna end up uh Sending him to the line, 5.9 seconds. Hakeem 
will probably make the free throw. And he does. Eight point game. Doesn't really matter. 5.9 seconds. They're not going to foul. And the game is over. We win the NBA championship. The Minnesota Timberwolves. And there's the ball. Does anybody celebrate with us? Probably not. I would assume no. I mean, we're the home team this time. And nope, nobody. You know, Larry Bird. Larry Bird. There he is. We're celebrating. You get the championship. Robinson. There's uh, Hornets. Disappointed. But they put up a valiant effort. I will say that. So the NBA Finals. There are the boys running running to get their championship that hair from craig elo is beautiful and uh there it is david stern hoisting up the trophy there's our coach there's shaq jumping up and down and she oh no, that's not shaquille and that's david robinson getting the finals mvp trophies looks like he won it he's holding it up he hoists it looks super happy good for him Shout out to David Robinson. He indeed was the finals MVP. You guys can see the stats there. So let's look at the playoff stats here. In case you guys are curious, playoff stats, we've got ourselves as follows. I mean, Shaq led the way. Bird was pretty good though in the playoffs too. We had uh, six guys average double figures. Not too bad, not too bad. All right, let's head on to the off season. One more season to go. Let's see if we can go back to back. All right, so Larry Bird retired, unfortunately. So we don't have him anymore, but we still have a good team. Um, I'm going to try to see if we can maybe acquire some more talent. So I'm going to look around the market and see what's out there. I'm going to salary dump LaSalle Thompson and a second round pick to the Hornets. We're going to get a top three protected pick. If they hear Corey Reed, two second round picks. It's a team player option. Shaq, obviously, we're going to accept him. We need no rookies. Qualifiers, not going to offer Monroe. So free agency, don't know if we're going to have a lot of money, but we're going to see if uh, we do have anybody that is no, no bird rights. Let's see if we try to sign some players for this team. I'm not sure who is technically going to be out there, but uh, maybe we'll get some good players. Like Doc Rivers would be a nice pickup. All right, so heading into our fourth and final season, we got Robinson, Shaq, Mark Jackson, Kersey, Elo. We picked up Doc Rivers. We still got Roberts Brewer. We got Hobson still. Tammons on team. Tucker, Frank, Johnson, Mo Cheeks is here. And then we got Wils Winston Bennett to round out the squad. So let's see how we do in our fourth and final season. I'm excited. See how this team does. I'm excited. Hopefully we can win another championship. So we're in our fourth and final season. I'm going to, yeah, move the camera back over. Let's look at the uh, roster that we're going to be handed to us. So Mark Jackson, Doc Rivers, and Mo Sheeks. We've got Elo, Hobson, Tucker. we got Kersey, Johnson, and Bennett, Small Foats, Power Foats. We've got Roberts, Hammonds, and uh, Frank. Could use an improvement there, honestly. And then centers, Robinson, O'Neal, and Brewer. Uh, can we get a better Power Forward before we start simulating? I'm going to see if that is a possibility. All right, I traded for McMillan and Wallace. I traded away uh, Winston. Uh, we two first round picks and Tom Hammonds to get ourselves a better power forward for our team in McMillan. So he's going to come off the bench anyway, but it just gives us a more dynamic power forward. So I like the team. Let's simulate. I'll see you guys at the trade deadline where, you know, this is going to be pretty much the team regardless. Uh, we're gonna run balance. Actually, we're running grit and grind since it's our best one four stars So yeah, I'll see you guys at trade deadline Ladies and gentlemen, we are 31 and 11 first in the Western Conference By a fair margin now if we look at the player stats here Looking pretty good. Well not by a fair margin, but yeah Shaq 26 and a half points. He's taking the reins over four guys in double for nearly five Actually, you can say nearly six, but yeah, the team's doing well We've got your rebounding of course Shaq and Robinson both averaging over 10 Mark Jackson still averaging a double double as well. 10.2 assists. He's been facilitating at a very high rate. Got a lot of guys with steals game. One, two, three, four, five. And we block shots. Four guys with a block shot. Robinson's got over two, you know, at least two. 63.9% from Shaq. 51 from Mark Jackson. So he's been efficient as a guard. Uh, three point percentage looking just like that. And you get free throw percentage. Mark Jackson, 84% from the line. Now, if we see the, uh, we'll adjust the rotation, it's going to look like that, but let's, if we see, like I said, the standings and all that, we are 31-11, 20 games over, this team's going to be pretty good, I'm trying to win another championship, can we do it? Let's find out. Michael Jordan MVP, Jason Kidd, rookie of the year, Nick Anderson, six major generals for their Hakeem, most approved Nick Van Exel, Emmanuel Barnett, coach of the year, 
69 and 13 Pistons. Wow. Jack Gilbert, exact of the year. I thought we were pretty good, but nope. The Pistons are dominating with Michael Jordan. Geo Hordan. He's looking good, man. He's looking really good. Uh, we do have Shaq, though. Uh, 26.4 points, 10 point rebounds. Played good defense. Yeah, he's on all the first team. Uh, you're on the second team looking like that. On the third team looking like that. Defensive teams, nobody. Uh, all rookie second team, Jet Glenn McMillan. He was a rookie. And the overall pick, got him. Uh, he was pretty solid, so shout out to Glenn McMillan. So, player stats here in the regular season looking just like this so Shaq obviously led the way five guys in double figures two guys at least uh 10 rebounds a game Shaq and robinson of course mark jackson led the team in assists which is cool we got four guys at least to steal the game four guys at least to block shot two two for Shaq in his uh situation most proof shoot uh most efficient field goal was uh shaquille o'neal in the field he was doing really well again three-point shooting not too much of an emphasis on it in this era just yet and you free throw shooting looking just like that. So, eight seeded Blazers, Nick Van Exel, Stacey Ogman, Dominic Wilkin, Dutton Schrem, Dutworth. Should be able to beat this team. I say that, and we lose game one, because I knew that was going to happen. Lost by eight, game two. And we win it by a lot. Can we win game three? I assume we should, but uh, we do. And let's win in four. Let's win in four. And we do. Nice. And Mavericks. Mark Jackson and Craig Elo. Oh, wait, what? Wasn't Mark Jackson our... Oh, yeah, what am I doing? Mavericks, we're trying on the Mavericks. I was like, wait, is it the Mavericks? I was like, that's their colors. Same exact color, okay. John Stockton, Reggie Lewis, uh, Glenn Robinson, Tom Gugliotta, Watson, Anderson, okay. It's a good team. It's a good team. It's a very good team. And they uh, lose game one by 15. They win game two, though, by three. Can we win game three? Yes, by one point. Game four, they win by 16. Should have adjusted the rotations. Game five, do or die, and we do win it. I'd like to win in six and not go to a game seven, 2K. But, of course, you torture me. So let's see, game seven, trying to go back to the conference finals. The Kins won. First quarter goes to them by two points. Second quarter, they win it as well. We have a great third quarter, though, and we're going to end up blowing them out. Great second half to win by 21. Dallas, mini-me team right there. Very mini, mini, mini. So good stuff there from the boys. Shaq, 29 and 15. Mark Jackson with a double-double as well, so good to see. Two seed of Kings, Byron Scott, Billy Owens, Robert Ory, Kevin Willows. Kevin Badumbo still there as well. Bench is decent. Uh, waiting on uh, who's going to win against the yeah, Pistons win. All right. So let's see how we fare against the Kings. Game one, we win. Can we win game two? We don't. Lose by eight. Game three... We lose by three. It's a 2-1 series. And we even it up. Let's make it 3-2 us. And we do. Philly beats the Pistons. And we're back in the finals to take on said Philly team. With Mark Price, Mahmoud abdul Roth, Larry Johnson, Juwan Howard. Okay, cool stuff. Let's see how we fare against the Sixers here. Trying to win our second championship here and go back to back we do lose game one by 13 game two we win by 21 i'd like to win game three if possible which we don't shout out to 2k's sim engine game four we win by 41 it's game five here and uh we got three two so can we clinch another championship here in this game so game six we are not the home team this time Sixers are. Great second quarter from us. Decent second quarter. It's going to be tight. Good third. And it's going to be tight. It's going to be very tight. We're trying to pull away here a little bit. They're coming close. All right, let's hop in. Minute 23. They're up. They're up. They're up. They're up. They're up. They're up. All right, we're turning off the air filters just so I can see it better. One point game here. Trying to uh, win this game 
and they're gonna get a layup there. Minute 17, we're down three. Uh, uh, let's see what we can do here. Minute 14, Spectrum, Robinson, what is that shot? What is that shot? Shot was terrible. Harper going to the rim, gets stopped. Price, Harper misses. Rebound, Shaq gives it to Mark Jackson. 49, Kersey going up the court. Shaq has the ball, gives it to Jackson. Jackson's open for three. I don't know why he didn't take it. I know it's the era, but like you were wide open, my guy. Now he's in the paint, gives it to Shaq. Shaq to Elo. Four seconds, three seconds, Elo makes it. Okay, 28.7 seconds to go. We're down one, timeout. That was a very bad possession. So if we get a stop here, you know, the dream is alive to win it on the away court. And I really want to win it on the away court in this era to see if it's the same issues in the pre, you know, the current era. My guess is yes. Oh, we do foul. 26.8 seconds. Very, very interesting call there. They do make the first. Mahmoud makes the second. So we're calling a timeout. I guess we didn't have any fouls because that's why we did that. Now, we need a three. We need a three-pointer. I think so. We might have take one. So let's see. Getting the ball to Elo. Elo, what's he gonna do? Try to get him open. I get to the Robinson. Robinson's gonna definitely shoot. And what the hell was that, Robinson? Oh brother. Selling the game. He's selling the game. So we're gonna have to win it on our home court. Yep, four point game. And if he makes his free throw, it's over. And it's over. Don't have any timeouts. Uh, but we are going to game seven at least. Three, just take a three, Shaq. He loved for three. Oh, he made it. A two-point game. Maybe force a turnover. Oh, he got a foul. Okay. 7.9 seconds. Mahmoud makes first. If he misses this, I mean, we have a chance to tie it up. But he made both. I right, get the ball to Jackson. Jackson to Rivers. Rivers to Shaq. Shaq's going to take a three. And he almost made it, actually. It would have been kind of funny. Uh, of course, Shaq took the three. I mean, typical. All right. I don't know why we're shaking hands. It's the NBA Finals. They shouldn't be doing that. But, you know, two guys make any sense. So we're going to a game seven. Not making it easy on my life. So we're gonna sim cast it here at home. Terrible first quarter, great second quarter, decent second quarter, decent third. It's good fourth so far. It's kind of close. We're gonna hop on in in just a moment. We're gonna hop on in right now. Minute nine, we're up two. Exciting stuff. All right, minute nine, trying to clinch here our second championship of the video. Can we do it? I don't know. It's going to be tight. Ooh, almost went back over there. Get into the paint, Robinson. Robinson's got to make a shot here, and he finally does. Puts us up four. Mark Jackson, 15 assists. Price also playing pretty well, too, though. So up four, 56 seconds. Oh, Chapman gets to the rim, and he's going to slam it home. Down by two again are the Sixers. Rivers brings the ball up. A horrible pass by Doc Rivers. Price pulls up. Mitty misses. Rebound. Shaq. 35 seconds. Rivers. What is he going to do? I don't know what he's doing. He's dribbling the ball a lot. No, that's a good pass right there. And a slam there by Robinson. Four-point lead, timeout, Sixers. Let's see what they do. I'm loving this, but it is not over. You know, they get a three and they're only down one. 
Now we have a foul to give, but I don't know if we're gonna actually do it just this moment. And I I don't understand why you would pass it in and call another timeout. Doesn't really make much sense, but um, that's the world we live in, okay. I don't know how to respond to that. I really I really don't understand that, 2K, but, uh, you know, you do you. All right, ball's coming in. Is it going to? It's going to champ. Oh, Maboud for three, and he's going to hit that. Bad defense there. Uh, we got to get the ball in. Gives it to Elo. And they're going to foul 21 and a half seconds. Elo's got to hit these free throws, but bad defense. Elo misses the first free throw. Second free throw. Makes a two point game. They call a timeout. I mean, that's just poor defense by your Timberwolves right there. Well, I mean, if they win, then maybe we could see one of our teammates celebrate. So, I mean, it's not the end of the world. But I don't want to lose. That's the thing. Mahmoud. What's he going to do? 15 seconds. Mahmoud to the rim. Oh, rejected by David Robinson. Nice. And that is a violation? I don't understand. What do you mean a violation? What? Is it whose ball? Is it their ball? Timeout, obviously. But great defense there from Robinson. Um, yeah, it's their ball. Okay, I don't know why it said violation. That really threw me off. 9.9 .9 seconds. My mood's going to get the ball here. <clears throat> don't allow a three. My mood, three seconds. Elo guarding. Oh, no. He missed it. And we win a thriller game seven. But that was a good look there. Wow. What a look from Craig uh, from Brian Shaw, but just couldn't nail it. But great job there from the Timberwolves. Almost throw it the game away. But we did it, so that's good. So shout out to the boys hoisting up the trophy for the second straight season. Going back to back in the Jordan era. Shaquille O'Neal this time is going to be the finals MVP. Wonderful stuff there from the guys. So as I said, Shaq, what a finals from him. He was really good. Let's look at the playoff stats just quickly before we close up the video. They're looking just like this. Shaq obviously dominated throughout the playoffs. We had six guys in double figures. You see two guys average at least 10 rebounds. Shaq and Dave Robinson. Of course, Mark Jackson, 11 assists the game facilitating like a very nice point guard that he is. With that all being said, let's get on to the full screen to close out this video. If you enjoyed the video, did, leave a like and subscribe. Comment on videos, go to our socials, play the second channel, main channel down in the description if you do like other content from DJP. So yeah, we still have to do the Kobe era, I believe. That's the next era. And then we have the, Jor uh, the, the LeBron era. Those are the last two eras because they added an era this season, which is cool. Another era, so. All right, with that being said, I'm going to head on out. Take care, everybody. We'll see you soon. Peace.